right, check this out. Man, those geese were beautiful, huh? Nice tight formation. Okay, so this mission is survival. Today we're going to go over an instant sun compass. Stay tuned. Okay, so here's the deal. Basically, the sun rises in the east. I'll do it over here, actually. Rises in the east, sets in the west. And it doesn't do it in a straight line. It has a southern arc to it. This is north, south, east, west. Rises in the east. It's low in the horizon, so it doesn't go directly over. It actually kind of goes like this, almost sideways to us. So because of that, um, the shadow that you create with a sun compass doesn't cast directly in a straight line. If it did, then the sun compass would be far more accurate because then you would have a spot here and say a spot right here and it would be a dead straight line. You put, your, you put your stick right across, another one perpendicular to it, boom, you get your east-west line, north-south line, you're 100% ready to go. That's not the case. A sun compass um, makes a lee direction. Northerly, southerly, easterly, westerly, okay? So um, that's caused by the southern arc that the sun travels, the sun takes. The sun doesn't go directly from east to west. It actually gets to west by going south. So because of that, its shadow, instead of going straight across, when it's here, its shadow is over here now, not directly on the line. So its shadow does kind of one of these. Okay, so because of that, because it directly matches it while it's going across, so because of that, when you put your sticks, it's not quite that pronounced, when you, when you do your sticks, you know, you, you, you take a reading, shadows here, put a stick or a rock, whatever you want to do, you know, you keep doing that, you put a stick across it, perpendicular, there's your east-west line, your north-south line, see how it's off a little bit? Say, say this was exact, it's off a little bit. That's because of the arc. So depending on where you take your reading during the time of day, changes how accurate or inaccurate your sun compass is. However, I've devised a way to make an instant sun compass where you don't have to wait an hour or so, normally you have to wait, you know, every 15, 20 minutes you make another mark and it's still off. So I found a way to make an instant sun compass that's very accurate. Super simple, you know? The theory behind it is, is incredibly simple. Basically, the sun goes up, uh, it rises in the east and it sets in the west, right? So if you take a reading at either one of those places, it hasn't taken its southern arc yet, so it's reading, it's shadow is going to be dead east or dead west as close as you can get it because if you take a reading first thing in the morning well the sun's coming up in the east I'll do it over here so if you so if this is east and the sun's coming up and you put your stick right here it's going to shoot a shadow directly from east you make your mark right and there's your line from your post where your shadow is. Boom. That's simple. That's all there is to it. And then you put your other stick directly across. But the other time you can do it is when the sun is setting, which is what's happening right now. So I'm going to put the stick in the ground right here. We're going to throw a shadow. And we're going to do an instant sun compass because the sun is in the west because it's setting right now. I don't know if you guys can see that. There's a shadow moving right here. See that? There's the shadow right there. That's right on the line of the shadow right there. So, if that's the case, 
if that's the case, <clears throat> then this should be west because the sun is setting, so it's coming from here, shooting its shadow directly across from the west towards the east. This should be my east line, east side of my line. So this is my east-west line. So this should be roughly, roughly, something like this, my north-south east-west line, tunnel direction. Now remember, the sun changes where it sets depending on the season, okay? So depending on if it's winter or summer, things like that. Oops. Um, on the horizon, the sun might set here. Another part of the year, the sun might set over here, okay? So no matter what, your, um, your sun compass is always going to be a general direction, okay? Northerly, easterly, southerly, westerly. But let's see how uh, close this is. Okay, so I just grabbed my compass. I haven't moved anything at all here. That's pretty close right there. <laughs> I mean, we're only off six degrees. That's pretty tight. So, we have north-south line, our east-west line, and as you can see, it's pretty close to the compass right there. We're only about six degrees off. And the great thing about this is that it literally took me a minute, maybe two minutes. I literally just had to put a stick in the ground and then put another stick right along that shadow. Done. There's no waiting every 15 minutes coming back to the spot, hoping a shadow from a tree hasn't moved over your spot and, and ruined your compass and, you know, an hour and a half goes by and all this other business, you know. Now, if I don't have a compass and I want to absolutely know where I'm walking the next day or the day that it is. So I wake up, it's, you know, 5.30 in the morning, sun is coming up, boom, throw a stick in the ground, shadow goes across, lay a stick across that then lay another perpendicular. Boom. There it is. There's my compass. Okay, good. Roger that. Good to go. Off I go. Whoop. See you later. There's no sitting around for an hour and a half in camp messing around, counting shadows and all that stuff. Now that works great during, during you know, the, the middle of the day. That works fine. Um, but again, it's always general and the southern arc always throws it off. You know? And this is only six degrees off and it literally took me a minute. Okay, so this is just a quick uh, instant sun compass that I came up with. It takes the southern arc out of the uh, equation. Again, uh, depending on where the sun sets in the seasons, we'll still throw it off a little bit. But, you know, we're only talking a couple degrees, and it's instant, you know? So just in case you don't have one of these, you always have one of these. This has been Mission Survival. Appreciate you for your comments and your support. See you in the next one. Take care.